Morning, Empire, by this is Rampant, and welcome back to my integral to Kingdom campaign for the Imperium Sector mod for Roman Remastered. We're going to continue left off from last time, where, despite some uh, little issues last time, where we had Carthage to betray me and uh, push on in a decent amount onto Sicily, we are going to now be actually, with my reinforcements now around here, I should be able to very easily start trying to push them back. I'm already trying to have my one army here, uh, Sussex the Mad, now. I'll reclaim all the land we lost from them, and then I'm gathering all my other forces, getting them retrained and ready to start actually pushing into Rome like I've been wanting to. to um, this is going to be the other army that I'm dropping off next turn. And then my fleet, where the hell did my other fleet go? Because I know right now, oh yeah, they're right there. There's the one with 11, okay. Yeah, because the 20 is right here. You guys have already bought everybody else back. I'm trying to see if I can get you guys to be retrained a little bit so you can actually have some better uh, armor and weapons, but you can't there. Bring them over here, we'll get them some better shields at least. Um, for right now, though, you guys are training around here. Siege over here. I don't think I have siege women just yet. Uh, yeah, next turn. Next turn, we'll have that siege women. Then we'll be able to just start taking these cities back. And I just need to then focus on sinking vessels. Because I don't want to really keep an army around here, a standing army around here, to try and deal with Carthage. I would actually prefer they just fuck off and not deal with me. Like, I would like to have it so... Let's see. I think what we'll do is... Uh, let me bring you over here. I'm going to bring this diplomat. Yes, I'm going to try and have him be dropped off over here so that we can have it so somebody can try and keep tabs on Carthage and try and offer them a piece once we push them off of the island because I just don't want to deal with them. I don't need to. Um, back over here, uh, I know we're still, we are now at war again with you guys, but honestly, I don't see a need for me to focus on you. We'll just stay around here, keep her training what we have, and now I can actually train more around here. This guy did die of old age, sadly. But I can now at least retrain stuff around here, and if they sally, if they try and siege me here, I can ignore them. I'll worry about those guys later, um, once we have more of a purchase on uh, Italy. As right now, we need to start trying to push hard into Rome, and so that's what I want to do. I want to focus all my attention over here. And then once we're done with that, we'll start trying to make my way back over to the east to start trying to take some of the lands that I know I need to take from that as well. They're not really even committing to a fight over here. They're trying. Um, I know my fleet now here. Uh, I was going to drop you guys down here, but I can just have you instead actually drop off right here to try and just push back this army because they're just going to run. There's no reason you guys will try and fight us here. So yeah, back off. And let's see if we can actually catch them. We are able to catch them. This army, honestly, I want to make sure I fight it myself just to make sure the enemy in general actually dies. If I just do the auto resolve, he's just going to run away. Because if I can get rid of all the leadership around here, Carthage is basically going to have nothing around here to be able to hold up against us. So, let's focus them down, especially since this army has most of my archers. I'm basically going to have to take the two reinforcing armies I brought over here and kind of merge them together. Because I know one of them had pretty much all my infantry, and the other one had pretty much all of my archers and some of my cav. So we'll have to kind of split it up evenly with these guys and see how we're going to divide that up. But basically, we'll have it so that all these armies, let's quickly just focus on finishing off and pushing out Carthage. Um, and then we can start making my way into Rome today, as that's kind of my hope for right now, is that we'll be able to start trying to make our way into Rome, do some good damage to them today. Um, as I wanted to last week, but uh, Carthage had other plans, and it's like, hey, let's now have this uh, Punic War here, because why the hell not? The day has dawned, grim and terrible, but how much more terrible to be facing yeah, this us, a lot more the sons of Hercules, Achilles, and Zeus. Even now, fear must weaken the bowels of our foes. Let's go! Because I have a, a lot of archers here. Just make sure you have skirmish mode off. And then infantry. I don't have a lot of them, actually. So I've got, like, only six units of infantry. So basically, let's just have you guys right there. You guys can kind of just be in the back right now. Archers, especially since for the most part, they just have a bunch of... Um, they have a couple... They have barely any uh, cab units. So they get to you guys over here. You guys over here. And then what we'll do is just kind of rush on forward towards them, I think, honestly. So let's just have it so you guys are in groups, infantry, and they're kind of over hiding in the corners. Let's make our way over there. And here they come. They're already making their way forward with their cav, and uh, the general's bodyguard uh, is just right up here. So at the moment right now, once the cab is dead, we can move all my forces forward, as thankfully they just got in range of my archers. Get one more guy. There we go. Everybody else just kind of walk on up the hill. And ideally they'll just let me do the exact same thing to their general's bodyguard. Yeah, because right there, there's one of their infantry units. I would hope you guys don't withdraw. Please don't withdraw. I would think they shouldn't be able to, seeing as how we did actually push them back once. So they shouldn't have the ability to withdraw from this fight. So let's get my cab kind of going around the backside. And ideally, let's 
see. Yeah, he's not running. Yeah, well, we want to focus on the general's bodyguard first, so let's kind of make it right over here. Get around the side, and then surround him. He, he, never mind, he's already dead. Already. Awesome. So, Vin's dead. Uh, let's see, 28%. Technically, there's a couple guys left. Not a lot, though. Yeah, just run them down a little bit more. I want to make sure we get the Magic 85 so the entire army dies. That should do. So, now we've got rid of another one of the armies. I'll have these guys kind of probably turn back around down south, uh, go over train a little bit, and then I can have these guys. I think technically I don't have a full two stacks of these guys. So we do actually need to recruit a little bit more. Sadly, they're not going to have all the armor upgrades, sadly. But I think they'll be fine. Seeing as how we just need a giant injection of troops anyways over here, and now that we have so many armies, I will be able to make far more progress now, at this time, uh, as opposed to before. So I'll just have you kind of make your way back down around here. I'll try and have you go be retrained. You have been retrained already, and I did get another general. Um, I've got one guy in Syracuse already. I need to keep kind of spreading governors around here. So, keep sending you back over there, and then this army. Let's try and just push you guys back. Now, this army here, because I have so many infantry, you guys are actually balanced pretty nice in the auto So, take that. Get that there. Were they put onto the boats? No, they are put into the city. So, now we can have you guys also push on in here. Don't have the best chances, so we can easily just auto resolve through you guys. Not that much damage. Exterminate the populace once again. And then, I wonder... I don't think you guys would be happy about this, but I can try... Try and you recruit some men. Uh, let's see. You guys are over here. You two come over this way. And then I'll have you actually... I would say siege this area. Because this is the one that has... Oh, no, actually... Let's just go for this one first. Go for this area first. This one has just a singular general. You can go into the city, they should be happy. And then what we just need to make sure we do is prepare everything and start trying to get this stuff again. But I can have you try and be the one that makes your way up here to go to this city. Although, you guys took a little bit more damage than I'd like, so I'm actually gonna probably just turn you guys back around and have you be retrained um, when I can. So do that. But it shouldn't take us too long, ideally. Uh, I do need to make sure, though, first and foremost, you need to make sure you grab this guy, and let's have you, it'll be one more turn to drop him off. What I do need to make sure to do, though, is you need to make your way back over around here, and what I want to do is I first need to retrain you, but then also I need to start trying to recruit more of these ships around here so we have another full stack fleet. Alrighty, now it's time to take another city from Carthage once again. And, oh, I see a fleet. Doesn't have an army on it. I want to make sure that anytime I see fleets around here, I'm going to have to make sure I keep track of them occasionally. Because I want to make sure that we get in the habit of sinking them every time I see them. So, sack those guys, and then you guys have been barely taking any damage. So, let's bring you guys back over here. And ideally, let's see, hopefully you guys will be good with just one of these guys over. Ah, uh, it's 45, 75, that should be fine. Uh, just make sure to then uh, repair everything and then start trying to get all this built up. Uh, you were trying to get some replenishment down here, so make your way over. Just have you train your infantry, and then let's see. So you've got 19 guys, so we are down currently. You've got 19, you've got 16. So we'll need about five units total that we're going to have to grab, and so we can make a full stack, or full two stack arms. Right now, infantry wise, I'm fine. <laughs> You have plenty of infantry. This army has only one unit of cav, and so ideally, uh, what I think we'll do is... Because, like, right now, this army here, you've got three units of pikes, and then three of these guys. So, honestly, what I probably should do is take um, three of these guys and throw them in here with you. And then this army here actually has plenty of cav. They have... They have five archers, six archers. Technically, I probably want to say give you guys one more pike give you guys more cavalry because I actually want to try and I, I, it, it, again it's not going to have the armor upgrades right now but I will at least try and get you guys some more cav around here kind of recruit while we're training and then I'm trying to grow this area quickly I'm trying to get some more growth in here trying to get some grain imports so this area grows a little bit faster and we can then get the armor upgrades around here as well because we can do that that'd be great um, I think it's fine just having everybody here has armor upgrades and that's at least something although I could just make it so it's like one army all armored like, if that was going to be anything, it'd be this army. So if I just take one unit from you, which I could just do this. Just take the one cab unit he's got, and then this guy's kind of the odd man out where he doesn't have as many, um, or his cab at least. Because four units of cab, and then... Oh, I have no archers. 
Uh, I have to recruit some archers around here. I'd probably have to say, like, two cab units, I think, is minimum. And then three archers. And then this army will be good to go. So this army here will be the one that actually has the full stack with the armor upgrades. Okay. And now this army here. So you guys are now pretty much almost fully retrained. You need one more turn of retraining here. Let's have you guys keep getting some infantry. And then I'll have you keep grabbing one more cav unit. And then I'll be having it so that the other units will basically do that while we're training you guys. Um, we'll grab uh, a couple more archers. So these three archers I think will be good. This army will then be ready to go. You guys are now able to easily push on in here and assault this last hold. And we'll see if Carthage will actually accept this and actually give me a piece of it. And I don't know if they're actually going to hold it, but we'll at least try it. Um, down here, I need to make sure you guys can make your way up here to watch over the city. Because what we'll do is bring these guys back, um, retrain all of these armies, and then they'll all... Be, as soon as someone's retrained, I'll send them forward to start trying to actually push on into and uh, deal with Rome. Because we're now going to start trying to do as much damage as we can to them. Well, oh, hello, Rome. I see. Oh my god, their armies are so infantry heavy. That's all they are is just infantry. Oh god. This is going to be interesting. Oh wait, is that? Oh, man, most advanced faction, Rome. That's exactly what I want. My heir died. Oh. Who else died? Uh, just a generic governor? Yeah, okay. So at least you guys still have city uh, units in there. Okay, that's fine. But you know, this army needs one more turn over train. Although, honestly, with those armies of Rome around here, I think actually let's take you out of here. Because I think this army needs the least amount of retraining to be ready to fight something. So if we just have you keep retraining, retraining that one guy. No, even you won't be ready in one turn. Neither would you. Yeah, okay, so I need at least two turns to make any of these armies uh, up and running. So let's do this one. Because this one has all of the armor upgrades. We'll get you in tip-top shape. Although technically, actually, uh, Syracuse can recruit pretty much everything. Yeah, Syracuse can pretty much do the same thing. So we can just have it so Syracuse. Let's have you guys do that over here. Because we should be able to get pretty much everything we want. I can have you guys retrain these three guys. And then keep getting some more. Uh, we already have the calf. We need more archers now. So try and get some archers around here. I can probably also retrain you guys in Syracuse next turn. And uh, just keep recruiting more of the archers, which basically will be next turn then. All three of my armies should be ready. Alrighty, another general's bodyguard. Also, I did forget to actually go talk to, uh, uh, to Carthage, because I know they are now around here. So this guy, let's see. So let's have you see. Where can you go? I don't have a governor around here, so let's have you send you over right there. Then let's see if Carthage is actually going to accept this piece with me, because I now want to ignore them, ideally. So let's have you go right here, quick. try and see, Our see fire. Is Very demanding, also offer Regretfully, we uh, quick. Okay, well, how about this? Our patience uh, become is limited. my bitch. Do not take nope. us for fools. Ah, so actually, though, <laughs> this happened in my other campaign. Our patience is limited. If I offer this, it's unlikely that they'll accept it, but if I just offer just a generic large sum of money, will you guys maybe. It's still very demanding. Wow. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> Do not take us for fools. Thought I'd at least try and offer it. They might give me a counter offer. That'd be incredibly stupid, but it's a possibility. Okay, don't know men on there. I'll keep trying to have it so that, again, Ready. if I see a fleet, hit the fleet and murder it. Uh, as long as I don't lose ships, that's great. I'll just come back, retrain my fleet again, because I don't need to actually have you guys uh, repair these, or I don't need to actually have the thing built up to repair you guys. So you guys can do that. Uh, you, I would want to have, just keep trying to get me more of this ship so we can actually get a firing stack of fleets. So you guys can try and do that. This army now. So you need to go back over to this army. This army now just needs two archers. They have everybody else retrained. But this army also needs to retrain. So let's have you go over here. And then try and recruit me an archer that will join in that army. And then I'll have you start retraining all your stuff. You'll be able to finish all of your retraining next turn. And same with this guy. So get an archer and then retrain everybody else. So next turn, all three of these armies will be ready. Rome hasn't attacked us just yet. Um, Carthage, what's this? No army. No army. Okay. Again, as long as they don't have an army on the fleets, I'm okay with that. I don't have to worry about them at all, as long as they don't have one. So we can keep just trying to sink. I honestly, I probably should just sink any fleet, honestly. So, if you guys have a full stack and you've been replenished recently, honestly, I'm probably just going to have you guys go around and murder fleets, even if they don't have armies on them. Actually, now that all my armies are ready, I realize... This is now going to be one of the largest fights I've possibly actually had in one of, in this campaign so far, because I'm going to fight all of these Rome armies at the same time, possibly. 
Let's first find an area to send this governor. So I'll send you up here because they could use somebody over there. Um, you've grown. I'm going to make sure I queue this up just before I forget. And then all my armies are ready. So now we can take... Oh, oh I could just ignore them. But I really shouldn't. I can actually... Oh my god, it's just infantry. <laughs> That's all it is. Just, just infantry. No semblance of strategy whatsoever. Uh, one of my cabins was not retrained here for some reason. Um, oh, I thought you could have enough time. Never mind. No cape. All my armies are not done. W one of them. Okay, you guys are at least for sure done. And then it was uh, this army is done. So two of my armies are ready. So a little bit smaller than I thought. But at least, uh, yeah, you have uh, one more turn of retraining. So let's have you just grab your one, one turn of retraining. And then I can have these two be the ones that will actually push up. Uh, they actually can't get to them this turn. So we can make my way up here. And then uh, same with you. So yeah, next turn we can make my way up there, start trying to clear out these forces of Rome, and what I'll do is I'll just have this army, you'll be retrained next turn, I can have you just go straight for Regium, so you can try and do that, and I just want to double check and make sure I don't, oh, there's an army, there's an army, it's a tiny one, but it's an army, I see an army, so just sink it, uh, this one here doesn't have anything on it, okay, so yeah, you just come back around here and keep retraining your boats, um, not retrainable, ships ready! You lost one guy, and they won't let me retrain the one guy? Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let me remember to bring this guy over, though. I should probably bring you over here, because I can bring up to about here. Yes, sir. So, bring you over here, because I'm going to need you to try and help out around this area. Can you recruit these ships? Yes, you can. So, you can try and grab uh, a couple more ships, because we need some way to actually drop people off. So, while we'll you kind of sit there, gather some more ships. We'll have to at least push through these armies. I have to have some of my armies. I think basically the way I'm going to go about this is you have a good amount of experience, or I'm going to want to get a good amount of experience on you. So, because you have such a good armor upgrades. So, this army, I'd say this one, I kind of am okay with just pushing forward, just trying to focus on taking cities. But you and you, because, you, well, you don't have the armor upgrades. So, I think you two will be kind of focusing on killing. Um, or no, I'm sorry, you focus on killing, you kind of focus on killing a little bit too because most of you guys have pretty good upgrades, but you will focus on primarily taking cities for the most part. Alrighty, now I can actually finally go after a Romeo. So, Rome, hello! So, I should have enough movement, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have, uh, let's have you right here, and I'll have you, because I think we'll attack this army technically, and then I can have it, so both these armies will be working together um, to push back these forces of Rome. And yeah, they have just the one army that's reinforcing. Um, I think. Do I want you to be commanded by myself? They've got about. Yeah, only. Actually, they don't have nearly as many men as I thought they did. This army only has about 1,000 guys here. 1,200. I actually outnumbered them immensely. Wow. That's kind of surprising. Um, I, you know what? Let's see. Is that going to be an AI controlled for you? Uh. You know, I'm gonna have you be AI controlled. That way, I can have both these armies on the map at the same time. This one I'll control myself. I don't want to throw those guys away because they're not gonna do anything. So let's fight this. As be one of the first big battles we have in this mod, finally, where we get to focus on two fairly large armies of Rome, and I really hope that all their armies aren't just infantry. <laughs> Because, oh my god, that will make it kind of really boring to fight Rome, if this is the case. Because then, if I just, if I, what I can do is I can focus on having just pike armies. And to get some cav, just to even have a, just a couple archers. And I will slaughter them, because they'll hit themselves against my pikes. And I will just mow them down, left, right, and center. Because they have no, well, they, they are a little bit more maneuverable than they, they are. But... For the most part, I can just have it so that I can have my cav just flank around them, Today do some really good damage, and just keep cycle charging that, and just keep doing that. They do not and also, to see brave men if I get enough experience, my archers don't care though, about their insanely high armor. In I'm hoping, uh, I don't know how my this allies are going to act, because uh, I can see my allies being complete idiots <laughs> with the whole fact that uh, this is going to be controlled by the AI. I will hope they're okay. As long as they're okay, uh, not going to be the worst about controlling units. I'll be fine. I am a little concerned that they might try and uh, pull something. I'll hope not. Let's get my archers all grouped up here, and then my cap off to the sides. And my allies should be coming in from... Um, 
Primarily my left, for the most part. Where are your reinforcements from? Is your the reinforcements have arrived. This the moment, is yeah, they're on the left side. The enemy reinforcements are coming the enemy from my right side. More men. Um, what are you guys gonna do? Is the question. Because are you guys gonna wait for your allies, or are you gonna make your way over towards me immediately? Because I think what I need to maybe do is have you guys kind of adjust here and here, and then kind of wait until my allies get over here and see what they're gonna do. Because these guys will probably just immediately attack me. My allies. At the moment, at least, it looks like you're just going to make your way forward. Okay, so Rome, at least, is making their way forward with some of their troops. Uh, one of the generals is just staying there being shot at. I'm okay with this. And I was able to get my cap to try and hit with the other general over here on the right side. Uh, does look like they are going to kind of try and do the same thing that they like to flank and focus on one side. So it's easy you guys to adjust. Uh, I'm concerned about this spot here. Yeah, because my pikes are kind of slowly getting in position. Yeah, my cap is, my archers are not going to like that. Get my cap to try and rush on in here because uh, they're gonna do some good damage, but I think it's okay as long as my cab gets over here. You guys, let's see, that's some infantry. Do pull away from that, do not stay there. And yeah, there we go, cabs pushing them back. Uh, only 30 casualties for a charge from a Roman general's bodyguard. That's actually pretty damn good, honestly. So I'll take it. Because number wise, let's see. So far, they've lost 4% so far at this point in time. Yeah, infantry, uh, they're making their way on in. Let's get my cab to start trying to flank this side. Pikes are still slowly making their way in. Has that general died yet? Uh, yeah, I've killed two generals already so far. So two generals are dead. Let's get my cab to kind of go back. Pikes are almost here in position now. Perfect. Okay, you guys charge on in. Uh, did some good damage. They do really like to flank quite a bit in Rome Remastered. They really do like to emphasize that a lot. But for a moment, that guy looked like a chariot. I'm so glad he's not. You guys are trying to flank us a little bit there. Uh, these two are just going you guys kind of turn around over here and actually try and hit the cohort there. What the hell are my allies doing? So my allies are kind of walking on in. Trying to hit these cohorts here. Um, They're not being... Okay, they're not being the biggest idiots. Uh, one guy just broke on the right side. That's what I wanted. Let's see you guys try and hit those cohorts there. Yeah, that guy wasn't even being flanked all that much. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. Let's try and get you to go over here. Yeah, bikes are doing well. Uh, yeah, bikes try and focus on that section there. So these cab units, they're winning that fight, but not as quickly as I'd like them to. Cab, kind of pull back down. Remember, you're here again. Number wise, it's two. So, good percentage wise. Number wise, we've lost about 300. They've lost about 400. So, they're we're slightly ahead, number one. Yeah, like I do, I probably need to make it so I switch to against Rome at least. My pike heavy army is specifically. Because, like, you guys over here doing some good damage. These guys just don't last all that well against them. I'm trying to do what we can to kind of, like, flank over here. Cav, you're about to break this cohort. And then we can kind of keep making our way around. We've killed another one of the generals. How many did they have? I don't even remember how many they had initially. Okay, so, so far now, the there goes another enemy general. Um, that is the is fourth one I've now killed. Um, at this point in time now, we've taken out about a half the enemy army overall. Um, I'm starting to see some breaking around here. Trying to get my cab to kind of make your way around this way to try and help breaking this section because you guys are struggling. Um, I definitely need to support you guys a little bit more around here. Breaking on the right side. Yeah, so that's the main general that we just killed there. Um, the supporting general, I think, is still alive. I think there was a total of five generals. <laughs> I think it was. Our allies have lost oh. their leader. This turn of events may make them lose heart. Dude. Dude. Are you fucking serious? Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I get for letting my allies control the, uh, my allied general there. But if I controlled them myself, I'd only get 20 units. Okay, well, start trying to break these guys. This general's bodyguard, ideally, if we kill him quickly enough, uh, then this might be the other name general for the other army. So let's see, because he's at... Oh, it says please. enemy general's Press routing, so that's got to be the main general for the second army, army, too. Because once he's dead, then we can easily try and... Oh, there's... Uh, then we should be able to ideally... Oh, he's dead. I need to get out of here now. I'm doing a lot of damage to my general with that there. So get my archers. Try and focus down singular units now. There's a lot of guys around here. And that's the uh, other named general. So hopefully we can start breaking them all now. Okay. Took a lot more damage than I would have liked there. Um, killed about 2,000 guys total. And lost about 1,300 myself. Not the worst. Uh, please tell me you didn't lose any units here. 
No, it doesn't look like he lost any of the units besides the General's Bodyguard. The General's Bodyguard is the only thing that he lost, which that's fine. I can recruit another one. Or actually, I have other generals around here that I've been recruiting anyways. So we can have them take over the army instead. Although it's kind of just a pain in the ass that we lost that guy. So uh, we'll now send these guys back to be retrained. And uh, my other army will be ready. And honestly, it's more so... It feels like... I don't. I shouldn't have to focus on just killing armies. I want to focus. Make sure we're focusing on taking out cities too. Like cities are far more important. But I do know I need to at least push you guys back a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be keeping track of their their fleets as well. Same idea with uh, you guys with Carters around here. Oh, I see troops. That's a big fleet. Yep. Fuck that thing. Nope. Get out of here. And then uh, let's just have it. So let's just keep doing that. It gets you guys to retrain, and then again, make sure you keep slowly replacing these other older ships with the new Ready. ones. So we'll keep replacing my triremes with the queen triremes, because more than likely, if we lose anything, it's you guys. So, now I do need to make sure, though, um, actually, you're probably going to be the best government to grab. So let's grab uh, some guys here, and I'll probably have you be the one that makes your way over into uh, this army. Although, you guys took a lot of damage. I'll bring you back for right now to try and retrain you. So yeah, can I pull back this way? Retrain you guys this next turn. You'll be ready. Oh, no, you're actually ready now. Yeah, you're good now. So what we'll do is let's put you onto the boat. I'll send you to start trying to make your way over here to start trying to take Regium. So you can start teaching Regium. All the other armies, um, they should be able to try and have it. So what we'll do is put you guys back here. Keep getting more ships. And then we'll have it so that yeah, you guys will split up, retrain, and as soon as you're retrained, you'll be back into the fray again. And we'll start trying... I'll probably have you guys maybe just uh, kill that army there together. Don't need to fight that. I think we can just auto-resolve with that one. And then once that one's dead... Uh, that's the one over there. And then we lost the Demios. He, he lost his life fighting against the Rome. But this is the, uh, the first time we get to start pushing in now against Rome, finally. Um, now we don't have to worry, ideally, uh, against Carthage. Because I will just slowly keep building up a better fleet around here. Slowly but surely, we'll just keep getting a better fleet. Uh, you should actually train here with us. Um, and I kind of want to make a third fleet if I can. If I can, I want to try and have a third one. So we can have like one to ferry, two to fight and sink other fleets. And that should work well because like we've already sunk almost a full stack of Port Carthage troops. I almost wonder if um, let's see if I go to not that I want to be a ranking is what I want to see. I want to see ranking and I want to see Carthage and Rome. Overall, nothing's really happened to Rome. Military of Rome has actually been dropping quite a bit. Interesting. Territorially, they're both losing a lot. Who is Rome losing land to? Who is Rome at war with right now? Because Rome right now, they are currently at war with... Our strength comparison is actually pretty... pretty um, they are currently at war with me, Carthage, the boy, and the RDI. Interesting. Has the RDI just been doing that much damage to them, I wonder? It's possible. Another general. Ah, you're really old. I'm not going to accept you, though, man. Sorry. Uh, city expands, though. Let me make sure to remind myself to build this before I forget. So let's do that. Then going back on over here. Again, don't see any fleets from Carthage at the moment, so we should be good over there. Ready you guys have been able to train a little bit more. Sweet Oh, no, it's just it pushing in the back there. Okay, that's fine. So now what we need to do is, so you guys, what we'll do is let's take you pull you out of here, put you into Syracuse, and then I'll pull you into Carmenia. Uh, Carmenia. Um, send you over here. Oh, I need to move that unit out first. So, yeah, take you out of there, and then what we'll do is the general that's in Enna right now, let's say. So we can send you from here, actually. Over to watch over the city. Are they happy without him? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, they're fine without him. Yeah, make your way over here. You'll be the one leading this army, I would say. And then we'll just try and make sure that you guys retrain all these units. Um, I am about to get some armor upgrades, actually, here. Yeah, in a little bit, I'll actually get some armor upgrades. Um, I'll worry about that later, because most of this army is fine. Uh, you guys back over here again to keep trying to retrain everything. The growth is a bit faster here now. Hopefully it won't take too long for you guys to grow the city, so I can actually get the max of weapon upgrades. So I'll be able to retrain all these armies. Uh, going back over to Regium, though. Let's go right here. Let's have you assault this. Perfectly fine. It's 21 dudes. I took no damage. Perfect. So, stir that populace. And then, what I want to do is, let's see, so... 
Ready to sail. I think I want to do here is yes. Ship this. ready. So I'll tell you. My lord. So you guys go up here. I'm gonna grab this My lord. put them onto the boat. And then I'll have you grab me some more of these guys. Ships ready. And let's see if they'll allow me to immediately start sieging. Because I want to take you guys, since I took no damage, go over here, start sieging another city of Rome. Because I want to keep some momentum going. Drop them off in Regium. Regium is barely happy there. Okay, okay. I know culture is going to be a bit of an issue here. Um, I'm actually... It definitely already has the uh, native Greek culture there a little bit, so there's something I can build to try and speed things up around here at least. But we now at least have a base of operations around here. So let's just start trying to make sure so we can recruit stuff around here, because I don't want to have to pull fall all the way back to retrain every single time. Ideally, we'll be able to retrain my stuff. Well, actually, for the most part, this is not the biggest city. It's got three there. Mm, yeah, it's not the best. I think we'll have to go up a little bit further to be able to actually get to a city that will be a pretty good for retraining. Because I don't think... That's, ooh, that's, that's tier 4 there, so this actually might be a pretty big city here. Um, no, not, not you for sure. No. 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 If we're just going off the wall size, this city right here... It was? Yeah, this one. Cosentia. I think this is going to be the region we're going to want to rush to as quickly as possible. Because once we have this region, I think I should be able to build it up quickly enough that I can use it as the way to primarily retrain my troops around here. So that way we don't have to make my way all the way back here. And honestly, with how things are going, I could possibly just make a fourth army around here. I do love that at the moment, Rome is just ignoring me. They're allowing me to just seize their stuff. They are bringing more reinforcements, uh, trying to be on the offensive against me. Um, damn it. I hate that you guys were quick enough that I was not able to stop that one singular unit. But try and sink that. Ugh, I keep losing one ship at least each time, but at least if I sink the fleet immediately, they can't get these back instantly. So, I am doing damage to their fleet. I'm hoping you guys will be fine. On, actually, no, this is a this is my spy. Um, can I get an assassin? Yes, I can. Uh, let's try and get a, uh, some assassins around here, and I'll have it so we can try and just assassinate this one little guy that was dropped off. Um, everybody else around here, you just need one more turn of retraining. Um, ignore these forces for right... Oh my, that's a big army. Oh my god, it's just two stacks of 20 of just infantry. That's all it is. Well, let's have this army. Keep just pushing forward. Yeah, because at the moment, next city would be actually, yeah, the one I want. I want Consenta. So, you guys around here, let's see. So... Do you have mercenaries around here? There are mercenaries! Let's do this. Let's grab these mercenaries for a second. Let's have you uh, move out of here with this force. Because I want to, if anything... Um, actually, kind of pull back for a second. Should have enough movement still. Um, grab a watchtower. So we can see three units there. And we're going to go for this city. Because this one... Yeah, it's got good walls. And see what's in here. Not really. This is rank 4, though. So I can get a good amount of stuff. Yeah, let's just have you go in here for right now. Watch over the city for us. Um, make sure you repair everything. And then start trying to focus on the recruitment stuff. So start trying to do that. And ideally, what we'll be able to do is take this area. Start trying to build it up. as This will be like the main area we'll try and retrain units around. And then honestly, actually, I almost wonder... Maybe not. I was thinking maybe I should try and grab some stuff around here and like just send it over and like you just keep dropping off reinforcements around here. But honestly, I kind of like the idea of me just kind of retraining some of these. I want to get primarily this army at least. I want you. You've already got so much experience in some of these units. I want to see at least one army just be full gold veterancy across the board. I just want to at least get one of my armies to that point. Yeah, no, at the moment, Rome is just kind of ignoring going the offensive against me. It's interesting. Um, let's sink this fleet of theirs, though. I want to try and see if I can get rid of it, because that should prevent them from dropping off more guys. You should group up around here. Um, just bring these guys to join you. Um, then I'll have you just be your train around here. Yes, Captain! I'll train these guys since they took a bit of damage. Almost got a full stack fleet down here, so two units off. Um, these guys are ready, so let's have you guys try and make these armies move out. Uh, next turn, I'll try and hit you. 
because you don't have the other army in range. So let's bring both of you guys up this way. And then we can bring you back in the city and same with you. Um, and now that we're not trying to retrain you guys, let's keep trying to again. Every chance I get, I want to try and get more of these general bodyguards because now I have multiple areas that can do it. So keep trying to grab a couple units that will be sitting over as governors. Ah, this guy has grabbed fucking mercenaries. Thank you over here. Same to fleets. Again, just make sure they don't have any sort of fleets around here, ideally. Um, and now I do. Yeah, here he is. So let's see. Can you kill him? Oh, what the hell? Who shall die? Let's try that. Uh, no. Missed his target. Well, he tried at least. Um, one of my cities grew back over here. Nice. Let's queue that up. And then, unless the governor, as long as there's a city unit in the city, that's fine. And I don't want to forget, you guys do uh, have actually the siege equipment available right here. So the Sultan's region should be good. Honestly, not going to worry too much about it. There's only three guys. And now, this region here, let's see, what do you guys have? So, you have rank three uh, infantry. And that's it. Okay, uh, I don't think Rome builds anything but infantry. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, well, we need to get the culture, so let's get the colony. Get this built up, and then I can stay around here and build stuff up, but it's just kind of interesting that they don't have anything but the infantry building. Um, kind of interesting there. But at least I'll try and have soldiers start building you up. Once I push these armies away with you guys, I think that's when I'm going to start trying to make my way over here. I'm um, start trying to hit Croton and just keep flooding up north. Because at the moment, Rome is not stopping me here. So they're allowing me to do this. I do think we can maybe get another army? I kind of want to. I might do that with um, one of these other generals that I recruit around here. So we can do that. If I'm going to do that, if I want to make an army specifically designed to try and take out Rome. Again, I think I kind of want to get you guys. Your long spears can sap. Yeah, I kind of want to try and just make an army of like just pikes that I'll throw at them. So you guys, you guys. I will grab some of my archers too though. So I know at least those two regions can recruit the units. Um, you can't get what I want. You can, though. So if you recruit some stuff around here, you're focused on the cab stuff, or the the fleet stuff. You can get some more of the Peltas. I'm going to try and just have it just so the infantry against Rome is only going to be these. I'll try that in a third army and see how well that does. All right, now start trying to get rid of these forces of Rome. I should be in range now that if I take you guys... Ideally, I can auto-resolve through you guys, since I don't want to have to fight through hordes of infantry. Oh, there's an army there. Um, should be fine, though. If I go here, I should be able to yeah, hit this army. And then... Bounds of power-wise, is not amazing. But I think it should be fine, and we'll kill the entire enemy army, because it can't run. So let's try that. And oh my god! Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. As that, that's what we're gonna be fighting against Rome. And I think that's why they're doing so well. Is the auto results fucking loves their infantry? Oh god. Well, they're dead. But uh, now Victory! I will be Ready pulling back and retraining again, Sir. as I lost oh, wow. two thousand guys for that. That was a straight up loss, um, entirely. Uh, okay. Let's hit you both back into these cities and retrain my forces once again. Because, oh my god, that's way too much damage. And there's no way in hell I could beat that other army with how much damage I took there. So, take your time. I keep trying to retrain around here, guys. And, um, honestly, I think this other army that I'm building, if it's not used against, uh, Rome, if anything at all, I'm going to for sure use it against, I would say, Carthage. So you can kind of gather a small little army around here, I would say. So these those guys, and we'll have a general soon here that I can utilize to try and take these guys out. So what we'll do is let's have, let's have you. You don't have any of the cab around here, so grab some more infantry there. You can't get any of the cab I want either, so you can get some more infantry. You get me um, some cab this time. So give me some more of the lancers. And then I'll be able to have you guys be helping out against this army, who at the moment, I'm still trying to uh, kill this guy. So try and keep trying to kill him. He's dead, of course. Um, coming to age. You came of age. I think I'll just leave you as you are. Yeah, because the other guy you're in here is pretty old. Um, governor died. Fine, because we have units in there. Fine, units in there. 
Um, that's why Spiza died. And then Servico's now finally grown. So let's make sure I queue that up before I forget. And then I will give up you guys. God, this, this war against Rome is going to be long and bloody. Because I know right now, at least, um... Oh, my faction overall rating. Oh my god. Because, like, if I compare myself... My military is still definitely going up. It's my production that kind of went down. I, I am not recruit building as much as I have been. I have been focusing primarily only on, I would say, just economic buildings and not all my economic buildings are gonna, I don't have a lot of areas that still have those. Eh, some of you guys are still focusing on a little bit of stuff, but but as I start raiding more of the land that Rome controls, I will eventually be able to kind of keep putting more money into other things besides just economic stuff. So let's have you guys, again, keep trying to retrain more stuff around here. Next turn, you'll be ready. Uh, same with you guys around here. And then, oh, actually, you need one more turn. Fuck. That's fine. Um, let's have you, let's make your way over here. I'm gonna have you grab these guys and the other units I grant, I just uh, recruited. And let's have you start trying to get rid of this force of uh, Carthage. This is now at least a small little balanced army. I don't have as many archers as I would like, but it's at least something. I can have you try and push these guys back, because I haven't seen another fleet of those just yet. And Rome, uh, that doesn't have a fleet on it right now, but I'm gonna sink it anyways. I don't fucking trust it. And uh, just make your way yes, back sir. around. Actually, right here. Yeah, right yes, here. Sir. Keep getting some more retraining on there. And this is now a full Ready fleet. Nope, we need one more ship. So it's like you grab that ship over here now. Let's see. I wonder if you guys have any more. Because I can keep pushing out. Of... Well, no, no. You've taken a lot of damage. I need to retrain this guy before I do anything. And at the moment, it's still about another uh, eight turns until I've been able to at least recruit anything around here. Let's see another general. I'll accept you. Let's see. He's currently over. Where the hell is he? This yes, is in uh, Where do I even need more governors around here? I'm starting to have so many. That I... Oh, actually, I can use one over here. So you can go what? there. Another governor has died around. Oh, <laughs> literally right next to it. Uh, that's fine. Abdera. Ooh, actually grew over here. Okay, so let me have you cute that up equal. Forget. And then. Let me now try and have it. So we did just finish your training, all of you. Well, you finished your training. Actually, what I can do is which unit was it again that didn't retrain? It was you guys. Um, I can train that guy there. I can actually train them right there too. Okay, so perfect. Let's do this. So let's have you. Um, actually, I don't have movement for that. So let's go up to you. I'll train the rest of you guys a little bit further up this way. That way I can have it so that you can retrain that one last unit. Uh, actually, you know what? It's, it's fine. I'll be retraining them after this fight anyway, so let's just turn you guys up around uh, and just send you straight at the Roman army. This one I'm going to fight again because I'm going to try and minimize my damage, please. Because, oh my god, does the auto-resolve love Rome. So, let's have you guys keep doing that. I just realized they brought in reinforcements. Uh, you want to withdraw from that? Yeah, pl please, please don't do that. Um, that actually means that, uh, well, actually, first and foremost, let's check this first. Mercenaries! Actually, a couple mercenaries. Let's see how good are these units. A lot of Peltas units. Some mercenary hoplites. Some cav. Cav's not bad. I would prefer some actual archers, though, but, like, this is a nice fucking full stack army. What I should do is put you in, the, in this area right here. Because they just won't stop dropping off the fucking dudes! You sank five ships. Oh my god. The RNG in this game is fucking disgusting. Okay. Let's have you repair all my ships and start getting me more of them. Um, I'm gonna have to start trying to get yeah more armies over here. So let me start making ammo. I'm gonna try and make it so I have enough for a proper full stack army. So let's try and have it so we'll recruit a couple more guys. That other army, if it's stacked, they need to run as uh, far as humanly possible. And I'll have to have one army I will keep around here. One army I will keep around here to try and focus on dealing with uh, Carthage. Doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to always Keeps sink ready. every single unit that they have uh, before they get dropped off. So we will have to be able to fight them occasionally on the map. Because I don't think you guys are going to give me a piece. Let's see. Be quick. you guys accept it? Our patience is limited. Demanding. I'll try and offer it. Fuck it. Because I am stronger Our patience than you guys. Is limited. I'll try this again. Do not take us for but food. you're not going to accept it. 
Because at least they didn't see us right now. I'm happy about that, because I know you guys, I need these reinforcements. So let's just, if they're going to just let me keep sitting here, I'll slowly just keep gathering my forces. Although I should probably pull back a little bit just in case. So I'll pull back here, keep slowly getting units into this army. Because I can get, like, what was it, four or five cities I'm recruiting from right now in a turn. So we can slowly but surely get an army around here. This is going to strain my economy a little bit more than I'd like to. I should still be making money, because he's currently at uh, eight units there. I've got three guys, so four here. So it's literally 12 guys right there. And at the moment, um, it's one archer, two. So that'll be, uh, put me to three archers there. Um, I'll have two cab units, and I've currently got, at the moment, five units of bikes. So we have a pretty good unit amount of infantry at the moment. So that's not bad right there. I almost wonder, maybe I should take uh, an example out of uh, Rome's book and uh, just have infantry. <laughs> we could definitely try and do that. Tiny attempted to, honestly. But I don't think I actually should do that. Otherwise, oh my god, that's going to be expensive. Um, but let's go back over here. I think I kind of want to have it so let's do one more fight against this army of Rome. And then try and see if we can get... Let... Ah, I just missed it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You're still going over there to St. Fleet. Um, because there's no army on there at least. But, let's make my way up here. And let's have it so withdraw from that for just a second. And then I'll have it so... I'll actually command this army that I just used. Um, yeah, you. I'll have you be commanded by me. And then I'll have you be commanded by the AI. Please don't get that general's bodyguard killed. Please don't. The army that they have is just infantry. If we surround them and take advantage of the fact that we have more men, like, this should be fine. And we shouldn't lose 2,000 dudes. But seriously, the, I have to find, like, some way to, like, deal with these armies. Not not only just fighting them, because fighting them, I think, is fine. But, I mean, uh, deal with them on the auto resolve. Because these Roman armies really do have a huge advantage in the other result. As they're good units. I wonder if I just had an army of just my pikes. Would that be enough? Is never an easy thing to face, I would hope so. Because I don't want to have to keep uh, coming back to retrain every time after I lose half my army every time. But I guess you have to make it realistic somehow. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's see you guys. Um, yeah, it's just this one guy's beat up. But he'll be retraining. So, group up all you guys. Infantry, just form on up. I'm not going to let you care too much about that. Just make sure you guys have uh, fire wheel on, and then guard mode active. Archers behind, and then cav over to the sides. We're going to ideally be able to just kind of surround these guys with my numbers. Because my reinforcements should be coming from behind me. Yeah. So, what we'll do is I think I can kind of just stay where I am and wait for my reinforcements. They'll be making their way on up. I'll be able to kill their general pretty damn easily. That's the hope, at least. Although, honestly, what I should do that I didn't do last time is take advantage of the fact that um, they're going to get very stuck in melee with me. And so I can try and have it so that we will change where my archers are going and have them be able to move to the sides a little bit more. And actually, I might just do that like, right now. Like, you guys here, let's have you keep your formation. Um, oh, no, wait, they are kind of advancing forward. They're just very slow about it. These bitches are actually withdrawing. I'm going to try and see if they're actually going to keep doing that or if they will pull back. Technically, they shouldn't have had anywhere to run to. If they do, I'll just auto resolve through these assholes. I wanted to try and fight this and minimize my casualties, but no, they're, they're withdrawing. They're not actually fighting me here, which is very irritating, especially because you guys are just so heavily favored in the auto resolve. Let's get my cab up here, try and see if you guys are able to hit, like, maybe at least one of the guys before they get off the map. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I killed, like, what? 70 guys. This no, just before the end. I killed 20 guys. Ah, <sighs> goddammit. Uh, I thought they had nowhere to run to. Didn't they have nowhere to run? I killed the fleet. Oh, uh, no, I didn't kill the fleet. The fleet was not destroyed because I misclicked. If I wouldn't have misclicked, they would not have had a place to run. And I would have been able to easily destroy this army, no matter what, they wouldn't have had a place to run away to. But no, they survived. They'll technically survive one more turn. If they are put into the fleet, though, that's actually better. Yep, they're in the fleet now. Just don't disembark. And actually, these army, these ones don't have any armies on them either. Um, so if they don't disembark, and they don't move, I'm sinking that entire damn fleet next turn. 
All right, now, Rome, please, please. Yes, <laughs> they're still there. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah, no armies on any of these guys. So you now, make your way over and sink them. Oh, come on, you should be able to make your way over there. Come on, yeah, make your way Set over. There we go. Prepare to <laughs> oh, beautiful. Just two, just the entire full army of legionaries just sank. Beautiful. Okay, let's keep going around and keep sinking more of these vessels. And actually, I'm taking like, no damage right now. Beautiful. Yeah, okay, one of you took damage. Um, now we'll, we'll pull back. I don't have enough movement. So we'll just try and have you guys come back around and be retrained. You guys, um, let's see. Can I you? Yes, so we can do this. So I can have you guys just stand over here. And I'll have you retrain my guys, and then I am able to make my way over next turn, once you've been able to kind of drop off more men. This area is almost ready to build to recruit stuff now, in five turns you will be able to. But we have actually been able to make some headway into Italy. Um, we have a tiny bit of the boot. We now at least control a tiny section of it. And uh, we're now starting to push on in with uh, more forces. Um, if I can get a piece with... Carthage. I will gladly take it. For right now, though, at least, I need to have you guys slowly but surely make this into another army. So we have four armies over here, roughly. Because I need to have at least some way to kind of prevent them from being able to just kind of walk on over us. I forgot to recruit. That's fine. Um, basically, we'll need at least two more turns making an army here. And then this fleet will stay, or this force will stay back around here and try and make sure you guys don't take any more land around here. But... I'm going to be done for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and your thoughts you have on it in general. But this is Rampane, I'll see you guys next time.